In this video, we're going to work on calculating volume for different shapes. So let's start with this problem. What is the volume of a cylinder that has a radius of 4 inches and a height of 6 inches? So let's begin with a picture. So let's say this is the cylinder that we're dealing with. And so the radius of the cylinder is 4 inches and the height is 6 inches. So what is the volume of a cylinder? The volume of a cylinder is the base times the height. And the base is the area of this circle, which is the same as the area of the circle on the bottom. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height. So all we need to do is plug in the values that we have into this equation. So the radius is 4 inches, and the height is 6. Now 4 squared, that's 4 times 4, which is 16. And 16 times 6, we know that 10 times 6 is 60. 6 times 6 is 36. 60 plus 36 is 96. So 16 times 6 is 96. So our answer is 96 pi cubic inches. Now, if you want to get the decimal value, here's what it's going to be. I'm going to use the pi value in my calculator, which is 3.14159 with some other numbers added to it. So let's take that, multiply it by 96. And so I got 301.6. Cubic inches. Now, let's say if you just use 3.14 times 96, then you should get an answer that's close to it as well 301.44. So, depending on if you use 3.14 or a more exact value of pi, your answer will differ a little. Number two, the surface area of a sphere is 256 pi square feet. What is the volume of the sphere in cubic feet? So let's draw a picture. And so this is the radius of the sphere, which is what we need to find. Now, the formula to calculate the volume of a sphere, it's 4 thirds pi r cube. And the surface area is 4 pi r squared. So we're given the surface area and we need to calculate the radius. Once we have the radius, we can then plug it into this formula to calculate the volume. So let's go ahead and begin. So the surface area is 256 pi. And let's solve for r. So what we need to do is we need to divide both sides by 4 pi. On the right, these two will cancel. On the left, we could cancel pi. And so 256 divided by 4 is 64. So we have 64 is equal to r squared, and now we can take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 64 is 8. So the radius is 8 feet. So now that we have the radius, we can now calculate the volume. So the volume is going to be 4 over 3 pi times r cubed, but r is 8. So 8 raised to the third power, that's 8 times 8 times 8, and so that's going to be 512. So 512 times 4 divided by 3. So that's 2048 over 3 times pi. So this is our answer in cubic feet. That's the exact answer. 2048 pi over 3. Now to get the decimal value, let's multiply pi, which is 3.14159 times 2048 divided by 3 and so you should get 2144.66 but I'm going to round it to 0.7 and the units cubic feet and so that's the volume of this sphere that's how you could find it if you're given the surface area of a sphere now let's move on to the third question what is the volume of a cone with a radius of 5 centimeters and a height 
of 8 centimeters. So let's begin with a picture. So here we have a cone, and here the radius is 5 centimeters. And then the height, which is basically 8 centimeters, it's this distance here. So with this information, given the radius and the height, what is the volume of the cone? All we need to do is use this formula. The volume of a cone is one-third of that of a cylinder. So it's one-third pi r squared times the height. So we have the radius, which is 5, and we know the height, which is 8. 5 squared, or 5 times 5, is 25. And what is 25 times 8? So if you had 8 quarters, how much money do you have? 8 quarters is basically $2. So 25 times 8 is 200. And so our answer is going to be 200 pi over 3. And we're dealing with centimeters. And so this is going to be cubic centimeters. The units for volume is always cubic units. Cubic centimeters, cubic feet, cubic inches, or something like that. So now let's convert this into a decimal. So 200 pi divided by 3 is the same as 209.44, if you round it, cubic centimeters. And so you can report your answer like this if you want to, or like this. Number four, what is the volume of a rectangular prism with dimensions 4 feet by 5 feet by 6 feet? So here's a rectangular prism. It looks like a box. And so that's how we can draw it. To find the volume, you just need to multiply the length by the width by the height. And so this problem is not going to be too difficult because we have the length and the width and the height. It really doesn't matter what order we multiply those three numbers. So it's just going to be 4 feet times 5 feet times 6 feet. And 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 6. If you have six $20 bills, you have $120. And since we multiplied feet by feet by feet, it's going to be cubic feet, or feet raised to the third power. And so that's the volume of this particular rectangular prism. What about this problem? The length of the longest diagonal in the cube is 12.12436 centimeters. What is the volume of this cube in cubic centimeters? So if we're given the diagonal length of a cube, the longest diagonal, how can we use that to calculate the volume of a cube? So let's call this point A, B, and C. So the distance between A and B, that's one diagonal. And the distance between A and C is the longest diagonal, which is what we're trying to find. Now, for a cube, all sides are the same. So we can call this x, x, and x. So if we focus on, let's say, the blue triangle, notice that we can come up with this equation. Let's call the hypotenuse of that triangle L. So L squared is equal to x squared plus x squared. Now, if we focus on, let's say, the green triangle, let me draw that better. Notice that we can use the Pythagorean theorem again, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But here we have L and x, and let's call the longest diagonal D, which is what we're trying to find. Let me use a different color for that. So we could say that D squared, the hypotenuse for the green triangle, is L squared plus X squared. So now, because L squared is X squared plus X squared, I'm going to replace L squared in the second equation. So I have D squared is X squared plus X squared plus another X squared. So D squared is equal to 1x squared plus 1x squared plus 1x squared is 3x squared. Now, if we take the square root of both sides, 
the length of the diagonal of a cube is the square root of 3 times the side length. And so that's the formula that we need in this example. Now, we mentioned that the volume of a rectangular prism is the length times the width times the height. In this case, for the cube, the length and the width and the height, they're all x. So x times x times x. So the volume of a cube is x cubed. So let's write that equation here, and we're going to use it later. So first, we need to calculate x using this formula. And so we have the length of the diagonal, which is 12.12436 centimeters. And that's equal to the square root of 3 times x. So let's divide both sides by the square root of 3. If you divide 12.12436 by the square root of 3, you get 7. Technically, it's like 7.00000251, but for the most part, that's about 7. So x is 7. Now we can use this equation. So the volume is going to be 7 centimeters raised to the third power. So 7 to the third power, or 7 times 7 times 7, that's 343. So our final answer is 343 cubic centimeters. And so now you know how to find the volume of common shapes like cubes, rectangular prisms, cones, cylinders, and spheres. And so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.